Okay, I'm in my studio here where I, uh, I do my bike fittings and sell and build custom bikes and that sort of fun stuff. Um, and I'm going to do a quick little update on a blog post I did a, f a while back on a pair of shoes that I liked and I still like, but I'm having a little problem with. These are the shoes, they are the Ultra Olympus. Um, they're, uh, Ultras are zero drop, so same height here and here. Uh, so the foot is essentially flat um, relative to the ground. But I think the thickness on these shoes, which I like, is about 26 millimeters, and I like that. I like the added cushioning with a zero drop shoe. I used to have to go with all these old school shoes, um, like the early Asics, uh, the, what, what are called the Onitsuka Tigers, or um, even early, um, some shoes that were even earlier than that, you can still find some of those. Um, and they were basically flat zero drop and it allowed for a very um, neutral uh, foot position when you're running. But uh, I ran into some trouble. I really like these shoes and I wrote a, a, an article that uh, I'll link to in the uh, description here, but I ran into some trouble with these shoes and this one shows it better. So you can see right there started to peel away basically this started to split and what you're seeing this gray here is actually um, gorilla tape I put some gorilla tape on there from the inside um, to basically just keep it from from separating anymore uh, and I did that just to, to hold myself over until I got uh, and got a new pair of shoes um, and it, what this usually is from I've seen in other shoes is you know when you run uh, around here in Western Colorado We have lots of hills obviously lots of uh, do lots of climbing um, on the trail and uh, Coming downhill when your shoe is your foot is positioned, you know heading downhill your foot slides a little bit to the front Or at least puts more pressure on the front and it just really started to separate from where this part of the upper this this leather portion here. Uh, is sewn in this this mesh substance or mesh material is not really very uh, very durable it's actually on this other shoe this glue is kind of coming free right here just a little bit it looks like as well um, and it's happening on the other shoe just a little bit less you can see there's uh, there's some tape on this one from the inside that's what that why that fabric there looks a little bit different but this is actually separating take this packing out of here this is actually separating. There's my finger coming through right next to the the next to the label, um, and I don't want to come down on these shoes too hard because I've really liked them. But uh, they, yeah, they have just not held up. Um, they have not held up very well. This one's actually separating quite a, a little bit more, um, and I wish they had. But so I actually sent out and. These were on sale. I don't even think they make these anymore. I found these somewhere, but these are these are my new running shoes. I'm trying. They're still zero drop. This is supposed to be, I think, 17 and 17, where these were, these were I think 26 and 26. But I don't know how this shoe is going to hold up. It's it's a very light shoe. Um, there's not a whole lot of stability to it, but we'll see. It was they were so cheap that I couldn't pass it up, and they were in my size, so. I, I did send Ultra, um, I contacted them by phone and they said to send an email with some pictures and I did that and I never heard back, which is kind of a bummer too. So.